what's up man my name is michael weston if you're new to the channel thank you so much for tapping in so yeah man uh it's been a week since my last video i was invited to an ableton event where they showed the ableton move and i was able to you know try it out and play around with it a little bit so i just want to give you guys my first impressions of the ableton move and you know nothing too technical because you, there's tons of content on youtube for you guys to you know dive into um, honestly, my first impression of the Ableton Move was that it really closely mirrors everything about the Ableton Push, which makes total sense. The Ableton Push is Ableton's, you know, flagship product, flagship hardware. I view the Ableton Move as a music lifestyle product, man. This thing is fresh. Like, it's, it's innovative for sure. Um, such a small, compact device but it's really powerful though. You can really get creative with this thing. The capture button that is, you know, exactly the same as the capture button in Ableton. It captures all of your moves, like your automations that you do manually with the knobs. Um, it's really intuitive. The shift button, which unlocks so many other options and a whole new layer of functionality. Um, the workflow of the Ableton move is really seamless. Like for me, I see myself investing into a push three before I get the Ableton move. But with that being said, still, I, I clearly see how the Ableton move can fit into my lifestyle. Like I totally want it for a plane ride or a Uber ride, chilling in a coffee shop, you know, while everybody's on their laptops. My main thing with why I rock with Ableton is because I do feel like they innovate. And I feel like this year, specifically 2024 man I, I really feel like um they've been taking a lot of strong leaps forward and bringing us new stuff yeah with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and cook up now not with the ableton move because they didn't give me one but yeah nothing else needs to be said let's get it All right. 